Hi all, welcome to Anjan JCP Data Engineering. So in this video, we will see a practical use case of Google Cloud Scheduler. Okay, in our previous uh, demo or video, right, we have seen the introductory part of this particular survey. So in this video, we will try to schedule data proc workflow templates using Cloud Scheduler. Okay, so before uh, proceeding with the demo, right, so I would uh, strongly suggest you or recommend you to watch uh, one more video right before coming to or watching this video okay so this is the video so uh, here right i have explained the concept of uh, cloud data proc workflow templates and how to bundle group of data proc jobs and we can uh, run those jobs right uh, using the template okay so you have to go through this video before uh, coming to the actual video of scheduling data proc workflow templates right using google cloud scheduler okay so i hope you are clear so directly we will jump into the demo right so here what we will uh, do right so we have a cloud scheduler service and uh, right and then we'll try to create an uh, service account which is uh, specifically used uh, for this use case okay and uh, we will try to grant necessary permissions or roles uh, to the service account and also in this video we will also try to see a concept called custom roles right so uh, you know role is a group of permissions right so in the google cloud platform right um, we do have a primitive roles and predefined roles and there is a concept called custom roles where we will try to bundle required roles to uh, perform that particular job right or that task and then we'll uh, call it as a custom role and uh, right and then we'll try to grant that custom role to the service account okay and then uh, we have this uh, data proc workflow templates already available right as we have created this template as part of uh, this video right so you that's why i'm strongly recommending you to watch this video okay so then we'll try to make use of that existing template right and then we'll try to schedule that particular workflow using our uh, cloud scheduler I mean, this is the template it has two jobs to perform uh, one is uh, this job right so basically it will try to read data from the google cloud storage packet and it will perform certain transformations and then it will write the transform data into a bigquery okay right uh, bigquery table okay so this is the table now the next task is just its opposite so it will try to read data from the bigquery and then apply some transformation like some aggregation and then write the data into uh, google cloud storage bucket okay so uh, coming to the google cloud storage bucket okay this is our output bucket where it is going to write the data and uh, this is the bigquery data set where it is going to write our output data or transform data okay right now it is empty so once everything is success then you would you would be able to see the data over here and also over here okay so i hope you are clear we'll proceed with the demo okay so so for that what i'll do i will try to create a service account new service account okay so over here and click on service accounts okay now create service account and you have to okay so this is our service account name it 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 look like this this is a complete name okay so what i'll do uh, because i'm going to grant uh, necessary roles to this service account that's why i'm just copying and saving somewhere in the uh, text file okay so okay this is our service account which we are going to use as part of this demo now go back so now create and continue because i would like to grant necessary roles in the next step okay so i'm not granting any rules or any permissions while creating this service account okay done now we have this service account okay this is a service account now what we will do we'll try to create custom roles okay so actually to perform all these tasks these are the two permissions required by that service account okay one is uh, it it required this particular permission service accounts act as and also it has to trigger the data proc workflow template with this particular method called instantiate 
so that's where we required this permission to be granted and for this service account okay we need this two so what we will do we'll use uh, make use of these two permissions and we'll bundle them and we'll we'll create it as a uh, custom role okay so go back and uh, come over here here you can see these roles right so in the IAM module or IAM page okay click on roles so it will here you can click on create role so over here so you have to it's up to you uh, so I'm just changing this uh, role run this is my role now okay so it's okay role ID and everything you can just uh, keep it keep them as it is so uh, right so now you have to add the permissions right so the permission you are going to add is you have to select the permission and just paste our permission like this right so this is one permission you are going to add so and click on add okay now add one more permission so that is the second permission to run our data pack workflow come over here permission okay instantiate okay select this click and add now you have two permissions bundled, bundled together now you are going to create it as a role just click on create so that it will create custom role called run data product workflow now you can see this is one custom role right now we are going to grant this custom role to this service account okay copy the service account so come over here click on IAM again so grant access paste your service account now here you will run data truck workflow you can see this custom role okay just select this and click on save right so now uh, if you just paste this service account over here you can see the roles granted to this service account now it has enough permission to perform the specified task right? okay now we'll go to the cloud scheduler page over here now click on create job okay so name would be okay so this is the name so let the uh, region would be like this okay I'm not going to change anything okay frequency you can give any frequency based on your requirement I'm just copy pasting this example as it is okay now this is going to run uh, at 9 a.m. Uh, on every Monday right so this is the case okay now click on continue so you have to select the time zone also so you have to watch our introductory video on Google Cloud scheduler right to understand this okay so okay continue so here it is important we are going to trigger our data proc workflow using HTTP URL so here this is the URL it look like this this is the data proc workflow template URL so by using this URL cloud scheduler is going to trigger the workflow okay so this is a common uh, with every uh, workflow template data proc workflow template so this is our project and then region this is our template name you can see over here you can see this is the template name okay so region us central okay so that's what uh, i'm providing those details over here okay and the method instantiate right that's where we have given this permission right workflow template instantiation okay so now copy this url come over here you just paste that url okay that's it now that HTTP method would be post only you don't have to change right that particular method and then remaining options uh, uh, you have to keep remaining option as it is right here this is important because we are using service account you have to select add auth token right you have to select this option now you will have to provide this service account right so that is run data proc workflow okay so that's what we have uh, created right this is the same service account over here okay so now click on continue okay that's it 
now create the schedule now now the schedule is in a default um, status it's it hasn't run yet now there are different options are uh, to run this so either you'll have to wait till this schedule time or else there is an option to force run this okay so now click on force run once you click on force run it's going to run this template okay and it's going to create data product clusters and then it will try to run job based on the job dependency which has been configured uh, right as part of this demo okay so i hope you are clear now we are going to trigger this job through this scheduler okay click force run now success come over here in the data pack uh, okay now you can see there is one template is running right that workflow is running right now come over here to the cluster section now you can see there is one cluster is getting created it will take some time yeah now you can see this cluster has been successfully created now uh, our jobs uh, should be running on this cluster just click on the cluster now you should see jobs are running right so look click on the jobs you can see one job is running that is first job is running okay right once it is successfully complete then second job will pick up okay for running okay click on the job you will see the logs as well over here right you can see the logs see the first job is succeeded now second job is running okay go to the job and check the logs is also running okay now the second job also succeeded now you can see it's deleting the cluster right so this is how we can use this cloud scheduler to schedule our data proc workflows on our convenient time right on periodic basis okay so i hope uh, it helps you a lot okay it's still deleting now we will try to examine the output okay so come over here first of all the see this is the output over here so if you go back to your core right so here in the second job it is trying to write the data into this particular bucket and this is the folder it's going to create right it has created this folder and you can see the output data so in the first job right it's going to read data from this particular folder or this bucket and then it's trying to write data into this data set and this table now go back to your uh, bigquery now you can see this table has been successfully created click on this table so just preview you can see this output data so right so so like this you can schedule your data proc workflow templates using cloud scheduler that to using http target type right i hope it's clear and uh, that's it for this video we will meet in the next video thank you thanks for watching